Hey, what's up everybody? Chris here with WooCurve and really glad to have you taking a look at Handsome Checkout for your WooCommerce store. And what I want to do in this video is show you how simple and easy it is to use Handsome Checkout to set up not just one, but several different checkout pages for your WooCommerce store. And what you're looking at now is actually one of our templates. It's called the multi-product template. And in this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to get a page like this up and running. And um, I think the best way to do that is just to dive right in and show you what it looks like uh, behind the scene. So I'm going to switch over here into our sandbox. Disable that real quick. So um, here is what Handsome Checkout looks like after you've installed it on your site. And in this particular one, we're just calling it the store checkout template. And then we've got this note here to not edit it. And the reason is we're using this as our default WooCommerce checkout page. So what that means is that anytime somebody checks out of our store, no matter what product they're buying, they're going to see that checkout page that I just showed you. And so that's why you see here, we don't have a product associated with this particular page or template. Now, if I was doing like a product launch or uh, any kind of promotion on a bundle of products or a specific product, then I would just enter in a, uh, a product name right here or that product bundle. And then I would have a link that I can link directly to that checkout page um, for that promotion or product launch. And it, and it wouldn't impact my default checkout page at all. So I can, I can actually set up as many checkout pages as I want per product, per product bundle. And I have complete control with Handsome Checkout. And one of the things I want to point out on that topic is when you do set up a specific checkout page for an individual product or product bundle, what that does with Handsome Checkout is it gives you a link that you can use and link directly to that checkout page and use that link anywhere that you can insert a hyperlink. So you can link from an email, you can create a custom sales page on your site and link from that sales page to the checkout page. You can add a button on your, your homepage and, uh, and link directly to the checkout page from there. If you want to set up an automatic redirect from your your actual WooCommerce store, we do have a way for you to do that with uh, an add-on for Handsome Checkout called Skip Cart, and that allows you to kind of play traffic cop, so to speak, so that if you have a specific checkout page for a product, um, you can turn in an add a cart add to cart button into a direct buy button and it will go directly to that checkout page. So I wanted to call that out so that it's it's clear on how this is working. And as I said in this video, we're we're looking at a template that we're using for our default checkout page. So this is going to be applied to every product in the store. I don't have skip cart set up and running. And um, and so I wanted to point that out before we move forward. And so what I want to do in this video, like I said, is I just want to go through the different features that we have that, that you will have as a Handsome Checkout user. And um, we have the multi-product selected on this one. This is the one we recommend if you are looking to replace your default uh, WooCommerce checkout page and you have uh, multiple different products in your store. Now, we also give you these templates, and I just talked about those that, that are tied directly to an individual product or product bundle. Uh, so the, the first option that you're going to see is, is the order bump. And I can just enable that. And this is going to be tied to a specific product in your store. And then you have the ability to change what the, uh, the title is, the label for that order bump. Uh, you get some highlighted text um, inside of the order bump and then the actual description of the product. And so if we keep coming down, and you'll see what this looks like uh, as, we, as we go into the checkout page here in the next step. So we go down, you see you've got 100% control over the, the look and feel, the, the colors here, the header, footer, background, the headline, the button color, the fields here. These are standard WooCommerce fields, so we're just using what is inside WooCommerce. Um, we let you put the email field first, so you can capture the email address. And by default, we have the billing uh, fields first and then shipping. But if you want to capture the shipping information first and then the billing, uh, then you would just enable swap billing and shipping. And the reason for this is um, 
it can help conversion if your customer, uh, it, it, it's a lower barrier if your customer is entering their shipping info first versus their billing, uh, because it, it feels like, um, you know, it's not as big of a commitment just to enter my shipping address. So um, if, you, if that's something you want to test out, uh, then you've got that option right here. And then obviously billing address, first and last name, phone number, all your standard fields. And, and t take a look at this. If I don't want to capture phone number, then I just uncheck that box and it's gone from my checkout page. It's that simple. Uh, and then, you know, obviously guarantee box. We've got the option here to display order details or not. You can hide the order total. Uh, right here, shipping details, billing details. These correspond to right here. So shipping details and billing details. So if I wanted to change what these uh, what these titles say, then I'd do that right here on step one and step two. And then the other thing, you know, next step, uh, that is this button right here. And then the order today. So if I wanted that to say buy today, buy now, order now, uh, place order, anything I want that, that actual buy button to say um, after I click next step, uh, then I can change that right there. Uh, marketplace logo, uh, you just upload that right here. It can be left, center, right, alignment. And we give you the option to have bullet points. If you don't want to list any bullet points on your checkout page, then you can just get rid of them right here. Uh, and then testimonials. Testimonials are so powerful because they show that other people like your potential customer <laughs> thinking of buying, um, that they've had success with your company, with your products. And so you want to use testimonials on your checkout page whenever possible. And, you know, once you're inside uh, working with us, we actually have some training on how to get testimonials on, auto, on autopilot. And it just makes it really simple. So if I want to add another testimonial, I can do that here. It's like my image. I put in my text. I'm going to get rid of that because we've already got one ready to go. And then trust points. Here's your, your money back guarantee, your privacy information is secure, that kind of stuff. And you can associate images with these if you want. And then further down, we've got, if you're a little more technical, you can actually add your own CSS. You can put your own JavaScript and uh, custom HTML. But I think uh, for what we're doing right now, I just want to keep this simple. Um, and just to show you, let's see if I, I'm going to change this next step button just so you can see how easy it is to change. So instead of next step, um, we're just going to say, um, you know, go to next step so that it updates there. And, and so if I come back here and I refresh this page, then you're gonna see this button here just change to go to next step because we put in, uh, put that in in the back end. And uh, you see how easy that is to change, but that's just a part of the power of Handsome Checkout. So what I wanna show you now is what, it, what it's like to go through as a customer. And I'm going to go here into our store, okay? And I'm just going to add a few items to the cart. I'm going to add this beanie. We're going to put uh, the hat. I think we've already got the hoodie in there. Uh, but let's see here. If I refresh this cart page. Yeah, okay. So we've got three items in the cart. I'm going to I'm going to double the or I'm going to put the beanie up to 3. I'm going to get two caps and I'm going to update that. Okay, so so at this point, um, I've added some things to my cart. I've done view cart. And here we are looking at the items that I'm about to buy. Now I'm ready to go to checkout. So um, this is just be like a, a, a customer of yours checking out. And when I go to proceed to checkout, here is the checkout page that we just created. And you can see all my items are listed here. So three of the beanies, two of the caps. Um, you know, we, we've already gone through and you've seen how I created all of this right here. Here are the, the here's the testimonial, the bullet points, uh, here are my trust points. And, and so what I'm going to do, I've already got information in these fields. I'm going to go to next step and look how nice that looked. I went to next step and then here I'm ready to enter my payment info. And if I want to use a different billing address, uh, if I'm your, your customer, then I can do that here. Remember, we swapped the billing and the shipping. And here is 
the shipping rate. And remember, this is this is coming. This shipping information is coming directly from your your WooCommerce uh, product settings that you've already set up. So you don't have to do anything new. You just have to set up uh, your checkout pages, and, and that just takes a few minutes. And if you look down here, here's the here's the order bump that we set up. Uh, so you can see here uh, the label that we have is yes, add sunglasses, and then th this is that highlighted text, and and then this is the description, and so this all corresponds back to this right here, right? So I can make this say anything that I want, and if I want to add those sunglasses, you see right now my total is one forty six. I think right now these sunglasses are ninety dollars, or uh, you know my sunglasses. So there it is. It it added it to my cart, ad adjusted the total. Uh, now, if I change my mind, I'm like, hey, I, I, I don't actually want to spend that on these sunglasses, so I'm going to take this order bump off. It goes back and it adjusts it. Uh, and then if I say, oh, actually, yeah, I do. I do. <laughs> I actually do want those sunglasses. Then it puts it back. And, and so it's, it's smart enough to know what it is that your customer wants. And then I put in my information here and order today. And again, here it is, order today. And if I need to go back to step one, I can do that. So you can quickly see how easy and simple this is to set up in, in really no time at all. And this is a completely new way to think about how to do e-commerce inside of WooCommerce. And, th and there's one other thing that I want to show you. Uh, so th what I've just shown you is how to use this as your default checkout page. Um, but what if you want to do a product launch or promotion and you want to just run a special on a product like like a, like a hoodie with zipper, for example, or, or maybe you've got a, a bundle product. And so I want to show you that if, if you set up a page specifically for a product, um, it's the same experience that we just talked about and just, that we just went through. The only difference you'll see is that in the product field, um, I've actually put a product there. So this is not going to be applied to all products. This is applied just to the hoodie with zipper. And um, I've got my image there. I've got my order bump enabled, and in this particular case, I'm, uh, I've got an order bump for a cap. And then right here, I've got access to any of these templates, and usually I, I, I kind of like our Marketing Pro template, just to be honest with you. And so um, I'm going to enable Marketing Pro. Everything else down here is just like you've seen. I'm not going to go through that again. But I want to show you, now I've got a checkout page just for the Hoodie with Zipper. And it's right here. I've got, uh, you know, my all the information that, that you saw in the last one. It's all here. Uh, the order bump is right there, order today. Now, let's say that I actually decided that I want to use, say, the, the minimalist. All I do is I select that. I click update. And then once I come back here, I'll hit refresh. And just like that, this template has changed. And I, I didn't have to write a single line of code. And that's the amazing thing. Um, the other thing I want to show you is we do have a two-step checkout template. And this is great for breaking up the, the checkout process into a couple different steps. So if you know the value of having you know small, tiny micro-commitments along the way, um, then this is something that we, that we definitely recommend testing out. And so I think I've already updated this. Let me just see. Um, yes. Okay. So here is a checkout template. And so step one, all we're doing is capturing name and email address. And then I'm going to go to the next step. And then I'm checking, uh, or I'm capturing the, the billing info. Um, and it looks like I've got my shipping and billing info. Um, I need to go back and swap those, but basically it's the, the same type of thing. So if I go back and I just uncheck that, and I'm going to make this. You can just see I'm doing this on the fly. And I just want to show you how how easy this is. So I'm going to capture billing first and then shipping. So I'm going to update that. And then let's see. We'll just go back to step one or refresh this. And look, I changed billing and shipping. And so now I'm going to go to next. And here's my shipping info. And if I want to ship to a different address, I can do that. So it's uh, it's something that you have complete control over, and, and that was just kind of on the fly there of, of how simple it is to make changes. So uh, I hope you can start to see how much 
uh, how much room and how much freedom you get to explore different ideas using WooCommerce with Handsome Checkout. That it's not just limited to your standard WooCommerce store, that you can actually run product launches and you can run uh, promotions for specific products and you can set up as many checkout pages as you want and they never impact your uh, your, your default checkout page of your store. So it's incredibly powerful and there's, there's no other place that you can get the order bump, which is, uh, which is such a, a, a high converting, um, strategy and tool to use in your marketing. So, um, we encourage you to take a look, let us know if you have any questions. Um, we do offer a trial for handsome checkout and when you sign up for the trial, um, you get the full version, so it's not like you get a, a, a limited trial version. You get the full thing, and if you wanna, if you wanna sign up for our trial, and during that trial per, trial period, run a promotion and uh, make a whole bunch of money and, and pay for um, the full version of Handsome Checkout, then you can absolutely do that. And we do have people who who do that just to see, um, you know, does this thing really work? And I'll tell you, it does. It's um, it, it's something we're very proud of, and we're very proud to bring it to the WooCommerce. Um, community. And so if you have any questions, let us know. But really the best way to know if this is for you is just to, to give it a, a try. Um, set it up in your store. We've got a full-time support team to help you if you have questions. And again, uh, this is Chris with WooCurve. Really appreciate you checking out Handsome Checkout. And uh, we'll see you on the inside.